Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Ark. I just went over to grab Fabarley there and he promptly jumped off a cliff, which is all the same. I'm sure he'll catch up eventually. All right, I'm gonna bring these T-Rexes with me. We are heading down the river this way. We're gonna head over to the Oceanside base location and get building. This should give us an opportunity to level up a little bit on our way through. I'm thinking that the name of the game here is to kind of have one dinosaur that's, you know, maybe not maxed, but I, I was kind of thinking, do I want to level up one dinosaur or both dinosaurs? And I think I'm just going to roll with Dawn Sever here and get him leveled up as much as possible. I'm telling you what, the biggest problem I have with the Rex right now is stamina. So I think with whatever levels I get here today, I'm going to pump up that a little bit. Fubarly is actually nowhere to be found. I might have to kind of turn around and go grab him. All right, well, I ran back and I got Fubarly. He was hung up on the rocks back there, and he's been helping out a lot in uh, just killing <laughs> raptors and carnos and whatever I've faced along the way here on the beach. I have heard that it's good to kill a lot of dinosaurs. You kill the old ones and, and new ones will repopulate. So hopefully I'm doing the map a service here by killing everything. Right, the gang is all here. We are reunited and we are going to cross the river here. And I think we're going to kind of head into the woods because uh, we're pretty close to the cliffs where... I want to start building, but there's really no way to access them unless you kind of go into the forest back here first. All right, rest it up, full bar of stamina into the forest we go. Not that I think that there's anything dangerous in here. I guess of all the dinosaurs, maybe a Giga would be a big threat for us right now. But yeah, level 100 and something T-Rex, probably pretty good. All right, difficult to see, but I think this is an alpha, what is this, alpha trike here? No match, just completely ate him. And some raptors up ahead here. Easy pickings. Can't even see what's going on, but death is what's going on there. Okay, yes, and this is sort of a little land bridge over to... Can I get up here, please? There we go. Yeah, see that cliff right straight ahead there? That's where we're going to live. Just a matter of uh, getting the boys over here. Boys or girls, I have no idea what gender these dinosaurs are. <laughs> we should figure that out. And um, once we're here, maybe... Maybe set them to do some mating if that's kind of, you know, if, if we have the, the right compatibility for that, you know. All right, anyway, this is the spot. So I'm going to park the dinosaurs over here. I'm going to command them to stay, and we will just use them uh, as, like, a defensive shield wall here. I think I immediately... <laughs> I think I, <laughs> Fubarly just catapulted off the cliff there. Oh, crap. Oh, there he is. Ah, shoot. Well, is he going to figure it out? Are you... No. Nope, that's definitely not the right way. Maybe I'll go grab the saddle off of Don Sever here, and I'll run over there and see if I can get him back. Holy, look at the meat in the hide. Wow. We've got, like, a rotten meat factory over here. Whoa. And all the stuff that he's pulled out of, like, <laughs> the bellies of other carnivorous dinosaurs. Anyway, we'll go through all that stuff later. For now, I gotta go get Fubarly up here. You think I could just jump right down here on top of his back, maybe? Like, like, right... Oh, that seems very risky. Maybe I should get a bed roll down up here. Or um, a bed, I should say. Oh, whoop, whoop, oh, go, oh, jeez. Oh, my ankles. Oh, that was close. Oh, hello there. Okay, quickly then. Put the saddle on to ya. And, ah, there we go. I'll just, I'll just bring him up there manually. Let's see, do you have any levels here? You have seven. Ah, oh, stamina. I feel like stamina is a huge issue for this guy. We'll get stamina up to a thousand or so, and then we'll work on melee after that. Yes, you see you have this one sort of bridge that goes over here. Otherwise, to get up here, you'd have to go way, way down there. There's a little hill you can get up on over there. I'm going to basically clear cut this whole forest here and take all the stone. We'll need all the materials to build the base anyway. And I have been uh, playing around with some base designs, just, you know, pen and paper the way I always do it. And I think I have a good idea for what we can do here. Something that's... um cozy and yet gives us a good view overlooking this bay here which wow quite a view huh whoops i just i was kind of gonna save that dodo but i <laughs> accidentally stepped on it okay so you park here and then i say stay where you are and give me back the saddle i'm gonna toss that back onto don sever over here don sever being the uh, you know, the go-to dinosaur around here. All right, hang on to that, and we'll sort out the inventory situation in a second. I think what I'd like to do first, first and foremost, is just get, like, some storages up here. Oh, crap, I gotta get the boat over here, too. All right, I'll work on that, and when I'm ready to start harvesting resources and building, I'll let you know.
Okay, that'll just about do it. I have all the stuff over here. It's just all down here in the raft. I do got the, I have the dinosaurs up here. That was quite a process. J-Mac made it almost the entire way and then fell off the cliff. So <laughs> I had to make the whole trip around again on J-Mac and he is just slow as death. But we're all here now. Everyone is present and accounted for, except for T-Lang who's over on Herbivore Island and shall remain there until he starves to death, I think. Um, I did make up some rope ladders and um, they're pretty expensive to make actually. I just, I don't know how to use them. I, I want to get a system where I can just hop on a ladder and go all the way down here, but I have no idea how to do that. I imagine it's gonna consist of something like a foundation like this. We'll just do some testing here. And then a ladder off that and how far down did, did that go there? And can I put another one below it? Mm, yeah, I don't think that went down very far and I don't know how to get on the ladder now. Ah, no! Well, it's a good thing I put a bed up here. Yeah, I, I guess we can kind of table this project here and, and focus more on um, resource gathering and construction. <laughs> it was a nice effort. Before I give up on that project entirely though, I figured it might be worth a try to see if I can build if I'm on the back of a flyer here. And we have a pterodon right here. Just gonna, I don't even care what level he is. I'm just in this to, um, <laughs> to, to do some testing, I guess. I'll take the club, I guess, and we'll just knock this guy out and tame him, I think. Level 62, actually, he's not that bad. She, I should say. So, yep, unconscious and I, you know what? I could look for some prime meat, I guess. Might as well while I'm right here. Just need to find a baby somewhere. I suppose at this point, I'm going to have to declare mission failure on the search for prime meat. Scratch that. I found some. Got two babies over here. Might be able to imprint on one and kill the other. Although, I'm not, I'm not sure which is which and I don't want to lose him. Did I? Oh, there he is. Oh, goodness. He's running on everywhere. There's the prime meat we needed. Uh, the other one? I don't have time for those guys. We don't need them anyway. Still alive? Okay, good. Good, good. Put the prime meat in here. Hopefully that's what you eat. Or maybe... Yeah, he's eating it. Nice. Give him some more. Have it all, buddy. All yours. Taming effectiveness is gonna give me plus 30 on the levels. He'll be level 92. She'll be level 92, should say. While I'm at it, I gotta make some more of those rope ladders. They're very expensive to make, though. Look at that. 180 fiber. Oh my goodness, I just found out that I had um, this sickle in my inventory that I got from a drop earlier. Uh, yep, the uh, <laughs> the fiber shortage is gone. Did not realize this was so effective. This is awesome. Okay, how many of those can I get now? Rope ladders, that's good for five more. Gonna be short on thatch, I think. Hey, there we go, he's all trained up. Gonna call him Ronnie. Okay, and I already made up a saddle for him. Somewhere, I have a couple of saddles here, actually. There's this, uh, Procoptodon saddle, and that seems to be some kind of a mammal, like a large mammal, kind of like a kangaroo looking thing. Okay, well, maybe someday I'll find one. And the primitive pterodon saddle, there we go. Okay, we're airborne again, and you were like level, ah, oh, crap, I'm encumbered. Okay, let's uh, see if I can pump up the weight. That... Oh, you have no levels. Shoot, level 92 though, not too bad. Ah, crap. <laughs> I will then, jeez. I'll have to go ditch my stuff over here in the boat. This is turning into a painful process. Oh yes, definitely follow me, good job. Okay, he can finally barely car carry me. I dumped everything out of the inventory except for these rope ladders, which I, ah, come on, tell me I can do this. Yes, rope ladder all the way down. Oh, it's gonna work. Hopefully it just doesn't like collapse. I mean, it's a rope ladder, it should be Okay, there. <gasps> yes, all the way to the bottom. Can't do the last piece. I think that's fine though. And finally, I can shuttle my stuff up there. I'm gonna spend the night doing that and we'll pick up construction first thing tomorrow morning. All right, I think that will just about have to do it. Let's check here. The time is 5.20 a.m. and I am an early bird, so it's time to get rolling here. Welcome to Thames Base, currently a work in progress. Consists of two foundation pieces, four storage pieces, a crop plot, a fireplace, and a sign. That's it. Over here, I did put down a foundation for where I want to start construction, so just kind of like a placeholder here. We're gonna go five wide and probably 10 deep into this direction over here. And uh, in order to do that, out of stone, 
we're going to need a ton of resources. So, what do we start with? I think we start with Godzilla here. And I think we're going to just have to clear out all of this thatch and these weeds and stuff. We don't need all these. What we do need, though, are narco berries for sure. We ran out of that stuff. Trying not to fall off the cliff and die. Not really die, but just create a horrible inconvenience of trying to get the dinosaur back up here. We're going to get an Argentavis. I think that's the plan for the next the next session here okay godzilla that will do thank you very much okay nice and flat over here with uh you know limited shrubberies in the way i think i don't think we'll have any issues here but now now we need stone and i don't really have a good dinosaur to get stone with i don't think J Mac is really good at this let's just give it a try all right so i think i'm gonna get mostly flint off of that yeah well i did get some stone I wonder, do I get more stone if I if I do it myself, though? I got like 30-something when I used him. Oh, it's looking like I'll probably fare a lot better if I just use my hatchet. All right, well, I'm just going to indiscriminately destroy everything that's out here. I'm going to use my hatchet, chop down all the trees, break down all the rocks, get all the stone, get all the fiber, take everything with me. I'm going to need it all eventually anyway, and hopefully I have enough storage up here, but if not, I can grab some more. It was at this point that I decided that resource harvesting alone was probably not going to cut it, so I crafted up myself a Dodiceros saddle, and I set off on the Pterodon to see if I could find one anywhere. Long story short, I could not. <laughs> and on the way home, I found a giant dragonfly, which killed my Pterodon anyway, planting me alone in the swamp where I had to hook it back to the base. And so with the help of Godzilla, I spent the entire rest of the day and night just harvesting stone on my own. Okay, so um, I take that back. I didn't go into the night just yet, but it's going to be nighttime pretty soon. So 1836, we have a couple of hours of daylight left. Oh yes, definitely give me some uh, some more weight. <laughs> Starting to get a sense for like how I should be spending my skill points here. So um, yes, I spent the entire day harvesting resources here. I tried not to clear cut it because I don't want it to just look like a big open field up here. I want it to look kind of natural, but um, have a look at the chest here. It is full of all of the materials that I've sort of uh, theoretically will need to build the base here. At least I think that's it. Yeah, 42 on the roof pieces. It's going to be a mixture between stone, wood, and thatch. Mostly just because I don't have the, the resources available to me to make it all out of stone. And I should have a little bit left over for further crafting if I need to. But I'm pretty much ready to get started. I might though... Just uh, find some busy work to do for the night and pick it up in the morning because it's going to take a while to build this and I don't want it to run into into night, into the dark. So let's just uh, plan on catching up first thing in the morning for the big build. Finally, I know we've been building up to this for a while and <laughs> trust me, I thought this was going to be an easier process. But uh, it turns out getting all of the resources was crazy grindy. Oh, no, no. Well, goodbye. <laughs> That's a fitting way to kind of send things off here. You know what I'll do overnight? I'm going to go look for another flyer. Try to get another uh, Pterodon saddle crafted and another Pterodon team. There's a whole bunch that are around here. I see him flying around here and there. So, all right. I'll catch up with you in the morning. All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. I did not actually find a Pterodon out last night, so I basically just took the Rex here out for some power leveling. We cleared the river a couple of times and... Um, also found an orphaned T-Rex. Well, I, I I made him into an orphan and then I adopted him. <laughs> he fell off the cliff though, as usual. So I don't know, he's around here somewhere. But I'm pretty much ready to get started here. Finally, it's happening. Okay, it all starts off with a good solid foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this uh, thatch one here in just a second. I'll actually just build off of it because it's already snapped. So we'll go, I'm gonna do a perimeter of stone because I, you know, ran out of stone and I, made some wood ones to supplement maybe we'll change out the central ones eventually but it's yeah it's going to be basically uh five by seven out of stone with uh wood in the middle <laughs> okay that was like two hours of work just to get that foundation piece down okay so there's a special little trick here i want to try to in order to get the wall pieces to kind of not snap to the edge of the foundation but for the wall pieces to kind of ride the middle because i want to i want to perimeter wall for the house to go right in the middle of these foundation pieces so i'm going to start over here and um and put down a half floor piece there and see if that will let me then 
Uh, wait a minute. Is that is that right? Do I want to do... Yeah, I think it's going to be this first, and I want the wood to face out. It's it's not going to be quite like that. That's just to, to help me get a snap point for this piece. Yes, that's what we want. Then we pick this one up. And we pick this one up here. And then basically the same thing off of this side. Going to put down a half floor piece and follow that up with a wall piece. And then that gives me a snap point to put this wall piece. And then I can pick up this wall piece and the quarter ceiling or floor piece right there. And that gives me the foundation basically or, or the starting point to wrap a wall all the way around here. I hope. Let's do it. Okay, that is that. I made four extra wall pieces, so I didn't do the math right. What's new? Okay, so these uh, none of these doors are going to be centered because I think I've probably just chosen um, an even number instead of an odd number in terms of the dimensions, but I do plan on probably expanding this. I kind of, my thought was to start small so that it wouldn't take all day to do, and it ended up taking all day to do anyway, so I'm glad I did start small. Okay, from here... Put my regular walls away. I have 48. It's probably going to be too many, but uh, that's fine. I'll have some extras. 48 of these quarter pieces because, yeah, these have a really cool sort of uh, wood feature on them. And so I'm going to wrap these all the way around. And this just gives us a bit, of, a little bit of a lofted ceiling kind of appearance. So we have more headroom. Those uh, 12 foot ceilings are all the rage now in new construction. And I did have some extra. Now what I need to do... Uh, Jeez, these guys are very noisy. <laughs> what I need to do is uh, put this, whatever these are, these quarter, I made some wood quarter floor pieces, the the ones that we use over here. Uh, I'm gonna use those, I think it's like this. Yeah, cause I want the roof to kind of overhang. The whole reason I'm doing this is so that the roof overhangs and so that the slope of the roof doesn't just meet the end of the like the, where the wall is because no house like in the history of forever has been built like that because all your water drainage just goes into your walls so I think this is the way to do it and I, I hope this is gonna be the best appearance for it that you know the configuration that I have these in right now we'll see okay same thing on the other side here and I ran out so that means I'm a little bit short on the numbers so I'll have to go craft some more all right there's the last of them right there, and before this guy gets away, level 18. You know what? <laughs> I'm not going to be picky about it right now. Come on, get him! Oh, I missed. I got two more. Go, go, go! Oh, jeez, I'm a bad shot. All right, last chance, and got him. I did pick up a drop, I think it was last night, and it had this really nice... Oh, a, oh sorry, a blueprint for a club. <laughs> okay, so... I'll just craft that then. Cool, got a purple club now, journeyman level. All right, so beat him up and just drop in, you know, just regular me, I don't care right now. I just need someone to fly me up and down to the beach. And oops, just had a vicious hard crash there, loaded back in and I'm. It's, we're back to first thing in the morning. Here's my other Rex there. Okay, I'll get us all caught up and we'll just pick up where we left off then. Okay, all's well that ends well, or so they say at least. So now I need to frame out the back wall, sort of the, the, the pitched triangular sort of walls that are in the front and back, and then we can do the rooftop. Man, I have some go-go gadget Oh, Son of a... Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to redo just a small portion of construction. I'll also need to make some more foundation pieces because, yeah, I... I miscalculated um, what it was going to take to do this because we went from five foundations to four walls back up to basically it's going to be five wall pieces. So that means we're left with a centerpiece that we cannot make. We cannot make the, the, the triangle piece that would fit up there properly. So you either got to bring the walls in one or out one. And I think I'll go out one in one of these directions here. What a process this is turning out to be. Usually I record for about two hours. I'm going up on four hours at this point of recording. Okay, I do think I have things straightened back around again. My bad on that one. Okay, so now I can kind of write, because there were supposed to be three like this, and then that's how you get the tip right there. 
Although, I'm definitely going to be short on resources. Totally did the math wrong on this one. So much for the idea of not clear-cutting the place. It's getting kind of sparse around here with all my little tiny trips to get a couple more pieces of wood out here. And there you go. That project is done. So we've got the front and the back wall. All we have left to do now are three more foundation pieces and all of the roof pieces. Okay, after a little bit of trial and error, I think I figured out what to do here. So we've talked about the overhang that I'm standing on right here. We're going to do an overhang on the back side over, like, you know, hanging off the end here. So you have to kind of figure out how to get it that way. Here, for just a second, give me this quarter piece here and put that there. And then if I just did... Oh, come on, don't do this to me. There we go, just like that. And then I can put a wood thatch ceiling so that it's overhanging on this side. Oh, not sure how this is all gonna look. I, I was just kind of thinking it might look a little bit weird, but I'll figure it out. So now I'm hopeful that I can just grab this one, take it up. Yep, and that's stuck onto something now, so it's not gonna, at least it's not gonna fall down. Okay, now I think, I think that's all we needed was just the one there, and then, um, we can probably just kind of frame everything else off of that first piece. That was the trick, get the first piece down, and then I can lay everything in, everything else in no problem. No, I quite like the thatch roofs anyway. Um, I, I made them because I was gonna be low on resources and it was gonna take forever to do anything else, but it also allows some nat natural light to pass through, which I kind of like, and it just, it, it looks better than like the stone roofs do, in my opinion. All right, well, tell me what you think of that. There you have it. It's it's a done deal. Well, it's, you know, there's a lot to, left to do on the interior. There's a lot of de decoration to do and such, but this will get us started. I think at this point I can take up these wood ladders that were helping me get up onto the rooftop for construction. Those are good. Nothing collapsed, <laughs> fortunately. I'll do a whole bunch of, like, trim pieces around here, too, with the pillars, like on the corners. I might do a little bit of a separation between the stone and the wood. And I think that there's painting that we can do as well. And uh, this foundation here, I'll, I'll probably pull some floor pieces so we'll have like a nice wrap around deck all the way around. Right, let's see about these railings because, yeah, I've seen people do this before and I think it looks good. So this is what I built these for anyway. See how that looks. That looks pretty nice. I like that. We'll get some contrasting paint colors here eventually. And same thing on the back side. I love how you can just build from so far away. It makes things a lot easier. And I think I'll save the rest of the railing pieces because I'll make that wrap around deck and I'll put a railing on it eventually. That'll be really nice out on this side to have a deck that kind of goes out over the cliff face there a little bit. And then in the back here, Maybe this will be like our landing pad for <laughs> flying dinosaurs. We'll kind of build out in this direction a little bit. Uh, you know, deck on this side, and this will be sort of the front porch. And uh, we'll get some sort of like a dino pen. And we'll, we'll build a separate structure out here somewhere for that. Yeah, see the natural light in here? It's kind of shimmery, depending on what way you're facing. But it's not too bad. It's not terribly dark in here. Okay, my friends, that is going to have to do it for this one. I've been at this almost all day long trying to get this thing built. It um, obviously bit off a little bit more than I can chew. That's kind of my style, but I think it's worth it. It'll be worth it in the end. I will have to get all of the crafting stations rebuilt. I think I'll leave all of those ones so we'll have two bases. We'll have the mobile boat base and we'll have like a, a, a real base up here. This is where we'll put all of our storage and such. But we'll have to continue that in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me on this one, and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.